Hey guys, today I have some little project shares and I finished the Barely Arts Cards for Cubs and I went to Walmart, I went to Dollar Tree, and then I have a few things from FrankGarciaStudio.com. So I will start out with Easter since Easter is right on the way. So I created these two items and I used this paper pad from last year, the Hippity Hoppity by Doodlebug Design. And I I have the paper and I don't have the ephemera. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I think I have those stamps. So I dug around and I found the stamps. So I made my daughter a, a not a quick card, but I made her a Easter card or an Easter card. And this is how it works. Now this, if you want to know how to make this, Mommy and Me Crafts made this as one of her cards for Cards for Cubs. And I think she called it, I can't remember if she called it a stand-up, an accordion card, what she called it. But her card, she's really trying to make like um, as, as a special gift for the children to be able to sit and keep as a keepsake. It was a very easy to create and what I did was I was on my phone and I just in my notes on my iPhone I just typed up everything she said and then I just forwarded it to my printer and look at look at this amazing look how how good her instructions are so I have this I'm going to keep this in my craft room I'm going to I think I'm going to make um an area where I keep instructions when people create things because in the past I just kind of tossed them but that turned out really nice on my phone so I made this adorable little card the card was so simple to make the hardest part for me was the coloring with the markers and the you know putting them in a display that that I liked that I thought she would like I think this turned out darling and it, I mean, it's mailable. There's nothing on here that's not mailable. And I did want to tell you guys, as I use these a lot, these strips right here, because I wanted, I wanted to give the little carrot card a road. I, I set these over to the side here. These are the Stickabilities 358366 from Hobby Lobby. They have gold. They have silver. And I use these quite a lot. This one's probably my favorite. This one, not so much, because sometimes they don't get this sticky lined up on it right, but you can peel the sticky back off and glue it. But those are what I use a lot when I do a border or a trim, something like that. So I just wanted to show these. And they're, it's just called a trim border, and it's they're 12 inches each, five pieces. So there's the silver. I love the silver. But I thought with the carrot, it needed the gold. Okay, so I then... Uh, my my daughter was sick a couple of days this week, so I kind of was busy with her, but like dabbling in little things. I finished these before, oh, I think Monday, and they had the day off school Monday. And so I started this on Tuesday, and I used my surprise creation, these egg, these big eggs that they have. Um, This is a great, I use this at Easter all the time and I made a little box and I dug around and dug around where's that little box making piece that I have and I found it and as I dug around I thought after I was done with it I was I had like you know kind of unearthed a bunch of other things and I was like oh what's in here and what oh my what have I forgotten that I bought and then I knew I had another die that could turn I think it can turn like Bigs dies or something into a box. That one didn't work. So I found these two. And then as I was kind of flipping through, I found these. So I think this is also a box making die. It, it has to be from AliExpress. Um, but I know these two are box making dies. But this is the one I used. And this was in an AliExpress haul I had. And I remember someone actually asked what the item number was on that. So I can find that one, but I don't, I don't know about these two. If anybody has, actually, it's five. If anybody has this, let me know. Say, oh, that's this from so-and-so. I would appreciate it. So I'll put that out of the way. Uh, so it, it was very simple to make. And I used for the bow, 
because I'm dying to get Scrap Diva's bows, her three bows, but I don't put bows on things that often, and I love bows. I just sometimes forget. Well, I thought, you know what? You can only have those if you start using the bow dies you have. So I pulled out my Hobby Lobby. This is that fabric ribbon they have, and it's from, is it called the Ribbon Shop? And you know, they, they put their ribbon on sale 50% off every other week or something like that. But this color is pink. It is a very vibrant pink, but I pulled the wrapper off when I opened it and it cut so beautifully with this Biggs die. And it seems like, oh, here's the, here's the other one I made, which I didn't stick this on, but look at that. That was with the scraps. So I just laid the scraps on. It takes such a minimal amount of supplies. And I debated between that and this. Isn't that cute? So this may turn into something on a little project because it's so cute. So this is the Biggs die that I hauled from Sizzix.com. I'm going to say a month or two ago for such an inexpensive price, like five or six dollars. And, you know, so if you wait and you sign up and you get the emails when they're having their big sales, you can really get some good deals. So, you know, just a nice die makes a cute, perfect size bow. I just absolutely love this. This was from the stickers. This, I actually used the paper that I thought, oh, from the Doodlebug Hippity Hop Pad. I thought, well, you know, I don't care if I mess up this paper, but I did back it. So it would be sturdy. And then I just put a piece of plain green paper right here to cover this up after the fact. But I hot glued, suck some grass in there. You can kind of see, see how they make like little teeth in there. And you just hot glue that. I mean, that took a little while to hot glue. I was doing it like two at a time just because I wanted to get the bend good. And then I covered it with this green. Isn't that cute? Now I need to figure out a way to make it stand because it rolls. So, but we need to figure that out. So I love this die. This was a little bit more of an expensive die, but it's enormous. This one does, I think these two don't even fit in my machine. I need a bigger machine for those. So these I know I bought last year. Made that. And this, I'm going to get these guys out of the way. And I don't want to forget anything. These are the cards for Cubs. So I finished up. Just made, just used some of my Michaels pads. I know you guys have seen this. But I thought you might want to see all of the ones that I created. And it was very rewarding. Very, very rewarding. And I need to get my envelopes bundled. And I tried to do, I thought this one was a little bit more masculine. I tried to do, it kind of looks retro too, doesn't it? I I wanted to do ones that could work for boys and girls. And I, you know, de definitely a girl or a boy who loves pink. But tried to get those in there. And then I finished this one. And I couldn't remember the name of this die when I showed you guys last time. It's one of the side orders. So this is like the birthday side order. I love these. I don't think he makes these anymore. But I see the number. I don't see where it has a name. These don't fit in there very well. But it's that's what it is. You get the hat, the cake, the wish, the balloon. And then you have a little mini embossing folder in there. And it comes with this great... You can still buy these. It comes with this great little folder to keep it all tucked away. And because you need that for all those little dies. But I think this was originally like $9.99. I'm sure you can get it for 3 or $4 now at Sizzix.com or places on sale. But I stuck those little, those little balloons in the back there. And I initially said this was a Lawn Fawn stamp. I mean, I think I said it was a Simon Says stamp. stamp. This is a Lawn Fawn and it's, I think it's called a shadow box. And I can't fit this shadow box card. Yeah. And the finished cards, three and a quarter by two and three quarters by two and an eighth. And it doesn't have, yeah, shadow box card. That's all that is. And I have, I had to cut that in half to fit it in here, but it helps me find it. If I can see at least the name of the company. 
So I did this one, and then these are Doodlebug stamps. So you can have a Lawn Fawn die and still fit some of your smaller Doodlebug stamps or other stamps that you have if they're small. Now this is the Lawn Fawn stamp and the Lawn Fawn die together, and I use that Cricut paper. How pretty is that? This thing is so sturdy. It is crazy sturdy, but I used E6000 to adhere the corners, but this thing is going to last forever as long as, you know, it's taken care of. And on the girl one, I did not put the outline around happy birthday. I don't know. I just thought it looked cute and just did two little unicorns and a few little balloons and I backed the balloons in acetate so they would last longer because if I was a little girl I would want to play with that. So those are my card for cups or cards for cups. Very excited about that. All right I will do Frank Garcia because the Frank Garcia is smaller and I picked up the Lots of Love collection. He has that 50% off right now, what he has left. But I ordered this last week and I grabbed the paper pad, the stickers, and I just, I wanted to have that for next year. I really love that. And I thought the Doodlebug release was kind of late on that. But then after, after Valentine's, I said, you know what, I want it. And I know he had it and I went on his site and it was 50% off. I couldn't believe it. So I grabbed a bunch. I grabbed some single sheets. There's a few of the single sheets left. I think the stamp set is left and it's 50% off. Just a few little odds and ends. But he does actually do sales. So I'm kind of newer shopping his site. I absolutely love it. So I grabbed this. This is the Magic Love because I wanted the Cupid. And I wanted the bow. So, so I could do resin pieces and, you know, I should do that flower and see how that looks for spring, but you, it looks like buttons, but I just loved the bow and the cherub just loved it. And excuse the bandages. I have been organizing and cleaning and nothing good ever comes from that for me. I am all, I got all cut up doing that. And there was one, one night my husband said, I think I heard boxes fall in the basement. Oh yeah, they fell. They fell of a shelf I wasn't even working on. They completely fell off. And so I had to get back up on a ladder and oh, this, this is not available anymore. This was something I was dying to have and it was 50% off on his site. This one is still available. This is Christmas ornaments. And I just, the felt, oh my gosh, the felt. I just, I can't wait till Christmas to mess with the felt. Maybe even Halloween, do something with that star. I just love it so much. And here is the item number. And then here is the item number on this one. This is an, this one's still available. This one was $19.99. This one was like $16.50, I think. Such an amazing deal. So you guys might want to put his website on your like checklist because he does free fast shipping when you get to a certain point too. And their customer service is outstanding. Okay, so this was a junk journal. It's Eileen Hall. It just says journal, but I'm pretty sure. See, that was the price, so I got half off. I'm pretty sure it's called a junk journal, travel, maybe it's a travel journal. I'm, I'm not sure. I 661906. So I think it's everything you need to make a journal. And although I don't typically do journals, I like having like little books and things to put pictures and memories in. So that I'm going to play with soon. And this I'll probably save till maybe Halloween. We'll just see. And that's, that's it from Frank Garcia. And next I'll do Dollar Tree. Then I'll do the few dies I grabbed from AliExpress. So Dollar Tree has, and I have some Walmart. Um, Dollar Tree has gotten more eggs in. So I grabbed some of these and this is just one little package. And I have to be careful with this because, you know, Easter's around the corner. So I grabbed these. They're really, really cute, these little cupcakes. 
and it's four cupcakes and three little like kind of cupcake eggs. Isn't that sweet? You're making me hungry. These are really cute. I grabbed one of these because I eventually want to make a memory decks holder because although I like my little spinning memory decks, I don't like how my pieces have can't be high and like embellished up and out. So hopefully I will get this um, painted and worked on sometime this year. So, and then I have this because I had thrown, a, I bought another package of these guys because they're just so stinking cute and so big. And then I hear movement around. And then I found these and these are the iridescent ones. So I grabbed these. So I grab you get you get four of these guys. One, two, three, four. And these you get one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, not bad. And then I'll compare what I grabbed from Walmart. Because I, I went to Dollar Tree, then went to Walmart, like because they're on the way back. So Dollar Tree, I grabbed these, and you get oh, here's a project share I have too. You get eight of these guys. You get eight of these little guys in a package, and they're little erasers. And, you know, I think they'll fit wonderfully in, you know, eggs. And that's the plan for those. Um, this, I wanted to do an Easter pokey tool or paper piercing tool. So, I the closest thing I had were these pastel polka dot beads. So I created that. I'm thrilled with it. I need to glue it and I will probably put a little dangling piece, but I don't always do a dangling piece because sometimes they get in the way. But so I, my goal was to have one of these for every holiday. So I have my Easter one done and I'm very excited about that. And then back to Walmart. <clears throat> Now, they did have a fridge pad I picked. It was kind of like a plain white fridge pad with a little butterfly and some plaid at the bottom for 98 cents and stuck it up on my fridge because my Christmas one actually broke in half. <laughs> but, you know, for 98 cents, you can't expect too much. So, um, the Christmas one I was just going to use up, but it broke in half. So, I replaced it with a spring one. They had a cute Easter one with a really cute Easter bunny adorable they it's and you find those on like end caps they're like in a box over by where the seasonal items were when I walk in the front of the store like a box that they kind of like hang up on the end cap and they have the little arms that stick out so they had these cute little flowers and these cute little bunnies and their sticky pads and you don't get a ton but I mean they're so cute who wouldn't want these sitting out 60 sheets and I got a few for her teachers so she could bring them in and now it's a whole well who would want pink and who would want blue I was like I tried to be nice and get something cute to bring in and now it's a debate on who wants what so that's Walmart I think I'm jumping all around so that's Walmart I still have more Dollar Tree let me finish with Dollar Tree so I found this might be it for Dollar Tree. No. I found the sequins mix. So that's out and in the stores now. And it's cute. And it's actually more than I expected it to be for $1.25. I'm very happy. And they're large. Now, I will say these have a curve to them. And you're going to need some at least three millimeter, if not five millimeter foam. Because like I said, these little guys curve. And it's, it's not a small curve. They're curved. So, they, they, these might pose a problem in a shallow shaker. But they are cute. Very, very happy I found those. So thrilled. And I'm trying to keep everything organized. And now it can go right in my little box. And then I decided I wanted these. So, I went ahead and bought them in the mail and I bought a case because I, I didn't want to mess around. I really wanted these. These are the teacher gifts for Easter and they came really fast. The shipping was $9.99 and I actually ordered, they have some twine looking carrots 
and like you only had to buy four packages of those you didn't have to buy you had to buy a case of these which is 24 you did the carrots you had to buy four and I think you get like six carrots so I thought that's not bad at dollar 25 times four and then they had these chocolate looking they're plastic bunnies but they look like a chocolate bunny the, the best way to describe them is they're like this but I think they're tall and I really wanted those and I thought there is no way there's so many things I want I'm never going to get it all and so they were you only had to buy four of those so I just added them into this order and there were a few other things I wanted that were in store only so I couldn't get them but you know I am kind of of the opinion if you can get half of what you want for dollar from Dollar Tree you did good Okay, so I thought I would fill one of these. Let's let's fill the egg. So my plan is to fill these with, I thought I could fill mine with maybe some beads, but I, my plan was to fill these with wrapped chocolates. Even though these work, I would not eat loose candy from someone I didn't know in a container that I didn't know was clean. So I'm trying to make sure it's wrapped. You could put kisses in there because I feel like it'll just... Yeah, it'll just open right up. So let's just see how these look. I bought some Robin's eggs, but I just, I, I opened them up and started eating them. And let's see how many this takes. See, this could be a decoration. I could put this out in my tear tray. And although it takes a lot of beads, that's really cute. <laughs> And you can also put bubble gum in there. I know there's smaller bubble gum, but I don't know if there is bubble gum that's this small. That's really small. You can fill it with Tic Tacs. Because they might fall. You have to make sure you keep it like that so they won't fall out if it's for a decoration. And if you you just be ready to roll and turn it like, like yeah, and then turn it. But, because you can see in there pretty good. These are so adorable. I, I, I couldn't believe it. They came so fast. Like, I ordered them. Whenever I order something from Dollar Tree, it takes about a week for them to, they let me know they received the order. Then they, about a week later, they let me know it's shipped. So, I think they process stuff and then they ship it all on the same day. I, I could be wrong. At least, maybe for different states, they ship everything on the same day. But that's how it works whenever I order something. And then it arrives in two to three days. So, adorable. Should we fill her too? Just to see what she looks like. These things are cute. And I feel like everyone's going to want these. I mean, it's a really a, a genius little idea and design. And so stinking cute. Oh, wrong way. I mean, that is really cute. So, those are adorable. I'm happy with these. And I think I'm going I think her teachers will be thrilled because it's a unique item and how easy is that to make? I don't know which one I like better. I love the egg. I mean, of course you love the bunny, but surprisingly, I love the egg. So, either one, if you get either one, I think you'll be thrilled. So, I'll put these little guys right here. So that's Dollar Tree. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I just, I've been kind of scattered this week with my daughter being sick and I don't know why it's, it's tough to be home and get your stuff done when you've got a poor little one with a fever running, you know? Okay, so this is Dollar Tree. I found these. I found these. I was so excited because I have seen where people have laminated these and use them as tags my gosh so cute i mean of course you couldn't laminate that but i've also seen people glue these on the inside of happy mail these i think i'm going to put like in one of the windows upstairs possibly even my kitchen window they're so stinking cute i can't believe it happy easter and i didn't look at them i bought these yesterday i didn't look at them that closely and she's so beautiful. I think she needs to go like maybe in my living room window. It's just so cute and such an uninvasive little decoration. 
She is so cute. I couldn't believe I found these. I have only ever found Halloween ones once. And then these are shockingly pretty. They're glittery. Very pretty. And then this was the last one. They're curled up. It was rainy. And they, the back got a little wet when I was bringing it inside. But they, they were straight when I was there. So adorable. So here's Happy Easter. I'll just go back through them. This one's 14 pieces. This one's nine pieces. This one's 14. I, you know, I didn't even realize all the little eggs. So you could do a million things with this. And then this one, oh my gosh. I believe there were other designs as well, but I chose this four or five, four. I chose these four. And I think that does it for Dollar Tree. And then I have, so I had the Easter pads from, I had these little pads from Walmart. And then I found the this. And what you can't really see is there is a little spot where there's a little eye. And my plan is to try to do with that quick resin, a white bunny and a pink bunny, and see how it does. I have never mixed color, I don't think, other than maybe black. I don't know if I've ever mixed, I've mixed blue in the quick resin but that's my plan i want to try and do a pink bunny and then this came from walmart when i was feeling and i thought you guys just might want to see the price like all the easter stuff was out they had peep stuff and they had a bunch of stuff that i can't show but they had peeps and they had the chocolate bunnies and they had and they didn't have a lot of decorations in my store yet, but they had huntable eggs that were pre-filled. They had fill your own eggs and they had grass. I mean, there's the Easter grass in every color you can imagine. So they even had like a, a biodegradable grass. Uh, this was, I, I didn't want biodegradable because I want to be able to keep it like for crafts <laughs> and I don't want it to disappear on me. So this, this was the only grass I had that was green in my stash, which is cool. This, I, it, this like, it's kind of almost like a wood that's been shaved really thin. So I thought, you know what, let me grab some grass on the, I couldn't decide. Do I want the, and this is the Celebrate brand. What is it? way to celebrate that's what this is this this mold and they had more molds they had bags and they ha they had easter baskets and they had easter eggs as well but i just grabbed the one because i don't do resin as much as i want but i thought you know what that quick cast resin will make a white bunny quick so this is 58 cents for 1.25 ounces and this is 98 cents for 1.25 ounces However, this is iridescent, so I I didn't know. I thought, oh, I don't know what would look better if I make a bunch of these little paper eggs. Will regular grass or iridescent grass look better? So it was it was an easy choice since it was so inexpensive. And then they had their eggs. So I mean. I have, I love iridescent. I've got iridescent ones. I've got the bunny shapes. And then these were $1.98. And these are glitter Easter eggs. And they're a clear glitter and a silver glitter. So they're, and they're like a jumbo size. Not a huge size, but they're equivalent to these. They're not teeny tiny. Then they had these, which I was like, oh my gosh, I love these. I kind of wish I'd bought more. But these are like a peachy pink, a polka dot, so a stripe, a polka dot, a chevron, a stripe. Uh, this is an egg dot. Oh, this is kind of an egg dot too. And then chevron, and it kind of looks like a cracked egg. I don't know, I thought these were really cool. So I, I couldn't pass up these two. They were very unique. And then they just had tons and tons and tons of eggs. And they had... I know that everybody loves the coffee cups. They had some really cute peeps. They had three to choose from. They were just really bright. 
coffee cups and they were big. They were just a little bigger than I wanted. So, okay. I know there's more. So let's move these guys, these cuties out of the way. I am very happy with those. Let's sit that there so you guys can see those cuties. Okay, so I will start with just these quick, these quick beads. I went ahead and put them in a case and these are just really small beads. Sometimes you need just teeny beads when you're doing things. So I bought clear and pink and then I bought the multicolor, which you get a ton of fuchsia in there. And then this, so I bought the four millimeter, wait, four, six, I don't know, that looks smaller than eight. This looks like eight, this looks like six. These are four. These are the four millimeter. This is a six millimeter. This is eight, six, four. So these are just replenishing stock. I use them a lot like on here. So that's the six millimeter. That's the eight millimeter. That's the four. I use these a lot for my paper piercing tools. And then these, oh, I wish I had a piece of ribbon. You slide a piece of ribbon through these and Tim Holtz did this and he act like everyone knew like in he about two videos ago three videos maybe it did not take long for these to get here he was like oh yeah and you know that you use your your ribbon and you do this and I was like what that's so pretty so I went I started looking online for them and I found them on AliExpress and I can't remember what size these are but if anybody wants it I will I'll try to remember to put the link in the description for these. So I picked the squares because I just love square. And you know, a ribbon's like a, you know, like a long rectangle that's very complimentary. And then these, I haven't even looked at them. I just threw them in. They came in yesterday. I threw them in here. And then I picked the mix because I thought, I don't know. There was a lot to choose from. There's heart. There's a, a rectangle. That looks like an oval could work like an egg. Another, that's a rectangle going at a different angle. So maybe this way. Um, another heart that's a little bigger. These look like three different hearts, which is nice. And then oval, a circle, another square. And this has different, this has iridescent, an iridescent shine to it. And then another. So these are two, four, six, eight, ten. So you get ten of each. I don't know, maybe two dollars and change for these. And free shipping, I think. I typically don't buy stuff that has more than like a dollar shipping when it comes to that stuff. I don't know. I just feel like just put it in the price. Okay, the next thing I have are these. And I think they're all from KS Craft. I'm pretty positive. So I bought their Easter basket. I grabbed, this is, I know nobody wants to see Valentine's, but I just liked how things were looking. People, a lot of people use this for Valentine's and I went ahead and grabbed it because I wanted it. And KS Crafts sometimes has additional shipping added to their stuff unless you hit a certain point, which is maybe like 15 or 25. I can't remember, but it's not a huge amount. So I will sit things in the cart and then when I, because they're always releasing stuff, then when they release enough stuff that I want, then I will purchase it. So I grabbed the Easter sayings or the Easter words. And I see Easter, blessings, greetings, spring. So, and they have the shadow. So I always love that. And I grabbed this and Scrap Diva made something with this the other day. Happy Mail Queen made something. She got this and so it did not take long for this to get here. Three weeks at the most. She made a pocket across. So Happy Mail Queen, I think, made a pocket across. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I know that I have that big set of eggs, but they don't have this piece. And, and I re they didn't have the tiny little layering pieces. And I just like this. And Scrap Diva actually made a box, like the little box I made, and put a video out 
a couple of days ago and she used that same little box maker. So I can't remember. I can't remember what day she posted it, but it was this week, maybe two, three days ago. So I thought everybody, yay, everybody is starting to work on their Easter items. And then there's two more. I grabbed these two rosettes because I am just, just gone batty over rosettes lately. So I'm going to try to use some of my flower dyes since it's spring, kind of figure out how to use those flower dyes that I've recently purchased and incorporate bows and flowers in my projects. But sometimes I like using the pre-made flowers because they're just so pretty. But I'm going to try to start working on some paper flowers. I know I have four dyes that make flowers and then I have that shaker flower dye. So I can definitely play with those. I have to find, so that's the bad thing is I have to find stuff. It's not, I don't have it organized like I need to. And then they gave me a little freebie. I'm very excited about these. I think it's called a diamond rosette. And then they gave me this, which is really very cute. So it's a tree with the little, the little um, leaves. Isn't that cute? I thought that was really sweet of them. And last time I placed an order they gave me, I think it was a bride and a groom, but it was a Valentine order and Valentine's gone and everybody's seen that. So I thought, you know, I'll just let me start organizing and hopefully that will help me get more on top of things. So that is my haul. I think that's everything that I've received. When I received the other two items from Dollar Tree, the little twine carrots and the little plastic chocolate bunny, I'll let you know. And I'll still be popping in because there's a few other things that I want, but I'm, I'm really happy with these guys. So I'm pretty good for now. I'm going to start working on Easter things. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. So as I was cleaning up, I noticed this is the dye that I used for my bow on my egg. This, this is this dye. I used the scraps to make this one. And this is this one. So that is not the Sizzix dye. So it's on AliExpress and if I can find it, I will link it, which I feel like I can. It comes in this set like this. And then this, as I was putting this away, look how big that is. It doesn't even fit in one of these little folders. So that's a nice, nice big Easter egg die. I should probably measure it. So I feel like it's going to fit. Yeah. In my Sizzix. So it's five and I don't know, it's, it's in between five and a quarter and five and a half. And then, wow, by seven and a quarter, a little bit more, almost seven and a half. So yeah, that's a nice, I'm looking forward to this. That is a really nice die. Okay, thanks for watching.